Praise God. Good morning. Morning glory. Glad to be back with you on today. Um, to God be the glory. We thank God for another um, beautiful, another blessed day. Amen. It is a blessed day to serve the Lord and serve God with all gladness. And we thank God for you all being here on today. Um, you know, to God be the glory. It's been uh, such a wonderful, wonderful morning, and praise God, and just making sure everybody that's logging on, you can hear us well, and by him, and <clears throat> everything is okay, so to God be the glory, um, we miss you all, and um, blessing to you all, and to God be the glory, and we, we thank God for your um, continuously prayers, your support, and yes. uh, we bless God for each and every one of you all, we're praying for your family as always, and um, to God be the glory. We thank God most of all for his son, Jesus. Amen. Because without Jesus, we can do nothing. And we're glad to um, come back before you. And we're humbled by God's grace and mercy to bring forth the word of God on a Sunday morning. Blessing Kingdom Empowerment Ministries. We miss you guys. Love you as always. Um, our extended Facebook family. Blessing to all. Amen. And we thank God for grace and we thank God definitely for his son Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, thank you for joining us. Um, and we're praying as always that all is well with you and your family. Um, praying that you had a great weekend. You know, yesterday felt real. It was, the weather was kind of like just right. But I know in certain places it may have been too cold or too hot. I know in Richmond, Virginia, it was raining all day. So, um, but nevertheless, God is still good. God mm -hmm. is still good. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what kind of weather is going on, regardless of what is going on in your life, whatever you may be going through, just know that God is still good. He is still who he is. Um, our situations, our circumstances does not change who God is. Amen. God is God and he's going to remain God. Um, he was God more than 2,000 years ago and he's yes. going to remain God even remain to be God even after after our lifetime and our lifespan. So, um, yeah, in it all, God is still good. Um, I know that, you know, people are, some people are going through some challenges and, and, and different things, you know, because we're still in, um, in the midst of a pandemic. We're still going through some things, but um, God is still there. God will help us to get through it all, to get through, not, you know, even when we feel like we're stuck and can't move on. Amen. God, no, God is there. He sees you. He understands. Mm -hmm. And um, he's there for you and with you. Amen. So we bless God for his grace and his mercy. And God is truly right there. He said he would never leave us, nor mm -hmm. will he forsake us. Amen. Yes. So um, people might leave you and um, things change, but God will never leave you. God is always right there and blessing to all of you all. And we thank God for his grace <clears throat> and we thank God for his mercy as we continue to do what the Lord has called us to do. It's all about sharing the word of God for the gospel, which is the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, truly, like I said, it is um with great privilege and with sincerity thanks to bring forth the word of god that god has given us as we go into the word as we continue to do what god has called us to do make disciples amen not membership but membership grows as you become a true disciple disciples are followers of jesus christ that's why apostle paul said follow me as i follow christ mm -hmm. amen the hope of glory. Amen. So this is where uh, we bless and thank God for you all and thank God for your faithfulness. Thank God for your uh, willingness, not only just your willingness, but your love. And we love you all as we continue to pray for one another. And it is a, it is a blessed day to serve the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, you know, we had um, an opportunity um, past few days, you know, we had an opportunity to visit <coughs> with, with, um, with family and, you know, it's so, it's wonderful now that we're having the opportunity to 
be with family members. And, you know, if you have that chance to do it, don't don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. The time that you can spend with your family members. But still, we have to be safe. Amen. We have to keep it safe. Um, you know, and especially, you know, my parents are in their 70s. So, you know, I want to do all that I can to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, we still... You're so glad to see each other, but we meant we minimize our hugs. Uh, we still try not to get too close to one another, as, you know, as, as much as you can. And if I need to, I will wear my mask around them. So, you know, in, in, in spite of all of that, we still want to practice those safety measures. Amen. Safety is always good and safety for cautious is always best. Amen. So as we go forth and continue, uh, once again, we thank God for Jesus. Most of all, we thank God for the Holy Spirit as we go forth and um, as we start us into Psalm 91. And then we'll go forth as far as the tithe and offering. And, and once again, we thank God. It's the word that's going to sustain each and every one of us in times like these. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm 91. And again, I'm going to read from the King James Version. And please read along with us. I will lead the reading, but please, as always, mm -hmm. I've been asking you uh, when we get into reading Psalm 91, it's so important that you know this word for yourself. Uh, it's so important not only to know it, but to speak it and to live it. Yes. You know, how else do we begin to live the word unless we're speaking? <coughs> you are what you speak. Mm -hmm. So, um... This is why it's so important. You know, I can remember um, early on, and sometimes it, it still can be uncomfortable when you're hearing yourself read mm -hmm. out loud. And this is why we, um, you know, especially with my grandchildren, you know, they'll say, oh, I'm reading, but we need to hear you read. Mm -hmm. We want to know that you understand what you are saying um, and get into the practice of hearing yourself uh, speak the word over your life. Because again, I know it can be uncomfortable in hearing yourself speak. I know it was for me. So, mm -hmm. um, Psalm 91, if you read along with, the, with us, please. Amen. He that dwelleth in, in the, the secret, secret place, place of, of the, the Most High, High shall abide, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They should bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Wow, wow. You know, as we were rehearsing, not only rehearsing, but as we were <coughs> reciting Psalm 91, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, why Psalm 91? Why not Psalm 91? Uh, why any other verses? But the point is, is, here it is. This is such a powerful, powerful Psalm 91, a canopy of protection. He that dwelleth, dwelleth mean to stay in a secret, where's that secret place? That's between you and God, Amen in your closet, on your knees, in, in your room, however, whether you're driving, whether you're riding, you praying to God on a daily place, amen, the secret place 
he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most. Watch this. When you dwell secret, God bless you openly. My God. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know. Jesus. But, you know, and I'm glad you asked that question. Mm. <laughs> you know, why Psalm 91? Why couldn't it be Psalm, um, Psalm uh, 23? Yes. Because, you know. The, the, the entire word of God yes. is a protection over our life. Amen. The whole Bible. Yeah. Every <laughs> every scripture. I mean, but why is Psalm 91 mm. chosen? You know, <clears throat> this is it's just such a familiar scripture. Yes. Um, it, it, it has been, or I should say, a chapter. 24-7. Thank you. It's been a, it's been so familiar. Yes. It's been very familiar um, in a lot of, um, our, in our upbringing in the church. Mm -hmm. Um, even in at you know your home church, our home church, that that is something that has always been read. Um, and then it's always been read too when at our covenant church, mm -hmm. our leaders church, our, our our bishop, um, he's always read it. And you know it's just become very familiar with us all. So it just stands out. I mean, this wow. is something that you have learned. Um. <clears throat> I think a lot of us have learned this early on in, in Sunday school. Yes, but they it just stood out, and it's just it's it's a it's a it's like a prayer. It was a protection. It's a secret, like it, it, it highlights that it's a secret place of the Most High. So <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't have. It, it was just something that always stood out with everyone. So, but. I will, mm -hmm. I think that is something that we need to discuss more as to why still, why do we choose this rather than any other scripture? I, I, tell, I tell you like this, when, when mm -hmm. I think about it now, the thing is, he shall give his angels charge over thee. Well, come on now. I mean, the thing about it is that here it is. He should give his angels uh, on an assignment every day. The, the warring angels, Michael, oh my God. He he just, uh, uh, come on now, the blessed angels come behind. Come on now, after uh, Michael does what he does best, amen. The warring angel, Gabriel, the blessed angel, his company comes along and just bless you, amen. And then you have the seraphim and the cherubim. I'm, I'm talking about heavenly hosts that protects, that guide you from any evil or wicked. I mean, this is such a powerful, powerful chapter, the scripture that we read. And this is something that, you know, uh, we know the shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. But I'm telling you, when you think about this right here, something you just don't forget, you just get deep down in your spirit. Amen? Well, and then, too, mm. I when you look at, excuse me, excuse Bless me, you. thank you. When you look at Psalm ninety-one, it kind of like sums up. Yes. It sums. It's a yes. Yeah, excuse me. Bless you. It must be your cologne. <laughs> thank you. Nah. But it, <laughs> it's the um. It sums up the pr a, a protection. Uh, it sums up a prayer of protection. Mm hmm for us all. Um, when we get into a secret place, when we get into that place of prayer with him and that thing also, it looks at, it captures mm -hmm. a place that we all as believers find ourselves in. Yes. At a time or another, all, a, a lot of us may find ourselves in the same place where, mm -hmm. where David found himself mm -hmm. when he said this, when he spoke these words. Wow. So it sums up and it captures a place of where we would all find ourselves at some point or another in, yes. our, in our walk with Christ. Think about, think about now what's going on. We need that. You, you know, even, even last year, even as we shifting, you know, even further and further as the pandemic shift out, we shift closer to God each day. Amen. So we thank God for the word of God. And this is where we're going to continue to, read the word of God, believe the word of God, crack the whip and speaking with authority. Amen. So, um, as we go into the tithe and offering, if you have desire to give, we bless God for your giving, knowing that your giving, um, has been a blessing to others. And we thank God for the body of Christ that you will continue to give because as God said, he loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And there's 
certain ways that you can give. Um, but before First Lady tell you those ways that you can give, let me just say this. Because we thank God that um, for our local givers and long distance. Local, long distance, and give as God has purpose for you to give in as far as from your heart. Amen. Um, one thing I can say is that um, God loves a cheerful giver. And, and what am I saying is that here it is. This is where, you know, the part where all of us can play and be a part of giving this kingdom. Amen. Give to God. Amen. So we thank God that God has given you that ability to give to him, to give tithe, to give seed, to sow your seed into good ground. Amen. So we bless God that God has purposes on your heart to give. There's different ways that you can share with them that they can give. And afterwards, you'll come back and read the scripture and we'll bless the offering. Amen. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> there are one or two ways that you can give or sow seed. Um, into this ministry and um, before I tell you that let me tell you how much we appreciate every gift and seed mm -hmm. and prayers that you sow into this ministry um, but more importantly God sees you yes God sees you he sees your heart and he understands and knows what you are given why you're given and mm -hmm. in, in, in your heart of giving so um <clears throat> So we truly do appreciate what you are doing for this ministry. And so importantly, you know, your prayers. We appreciate your prayers yes. so much. Um, and know that um, your gifts are being used as, as God is leading us to use the gifts, um, to use this, the, the seeds, um, to, to, to do the work that he has called us to do Amen. for this ministry, Amen. for you. Amen. But not not for us, but for you all, for this ministry, um, to, to, for the community. So um, we just thank God again for your gift. So if you have a desire, if God has placed a desire in your heart, on your heart to give, you can do um, you can do it by mail. Mm -hmm. You can mail your check or your money order to P.O. Box 544, Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. That's Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, P.O. Box 544, Goose Creek, South Carolina, mm -hmm. 29445. And please do not mail cash. Um, only check our money orders, please. And if you have a desire to give electronically, you can do so through Givelify. That's G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. That's Givelify.com. You can go to that, um, that website. And mm -hmm. you can give electronically. Well, now you can do If you have the app, you can download it. You can download the app on your phone and give through that platform. You will search for Kingdom Empowerment Ministries or Pastor Samuel Middleton, and mm -hmm. you can give through that platform. Amen. And again, we thank God for every gift and seed that you sow into this ministry. So um, our scripture reading will come from um, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Um, beginning with verse six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beginning with verse six. That's um Second Corinthians chapter nine. I, I I know you read. I was I'm I'm excited about oh. giving. I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 you know here it is. I'm I'm get I'm ready to hold this up already. I don't know if you, but I, I get excited when yes. it comes time to give to God. Oh my God, I'm not trying to pull or pump you up. I'm, I get excited because I know, oh my God, my seed is getting ready to watch this. Not only go in the ground, but my seed has arise. It's coming up. I get excited. Oh my God. Mm. You should get excited. Oh my God. Mm. You should get excited about giving to God. Amen. So we thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm, oh my, get excited. Get excited. Oh my God, get excited. Uh, amen. Get excited about giving to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but, you know, it's just running over, running over, running over. Oh my God, get excited. If you if you haven't got it ready, go run to the room, get it. However, go uh, however, get it ready because we're going to bless the Lord. Amen. Mm. 
My Lord, hallelujah. Um, mm. I don't know. I'm checking my sound. Wow. Um, mm. My volume is turned all the way up. And I, I try to talk a little bit louder because I know I'm a little bit more soft spoken. Wow, I'm going to have to give you the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm literally going to have to get a mic. Ooh, my God. But, um, mm. I hope that you all can hear me okay. All is well? Yes, yes, yes. Sound good. Amen. 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 So I've turned, wow. my volume is all the way up, so um, mm. I did speak of, um, about the the ways that you can give. I hope you all can hear that. And um, you can post it also. Amen. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or either I'll have Pastor repeat it, because he's louder than <laughs> I am. Okay? <clears throat> Amen. Okay. Let's roll. So mm. I'll read um, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, Ooh. beginning with verse 6 in the King James Version. Mm. The scripture reading reads, uh, mm-hmm. uh, let's see, what did I say? Verse six. Wow. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly mm-hmm. shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall also shall reap also bountifully. Mm. Every man according as he purposed yes. in his heart, so mm. let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity, wow. for God loveth a cheerful giver. Mm. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in yes. all things, may abound yes. to every good work. Yes. As it is ri- as it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he mm. hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Mm. <clears throat> now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for mm-hmm. your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the truth. I'm um, excuse me and increase mm-hmm. the fruits of your righteousness. So again, God is concerned about your heart, not about your gift. Mm-hmm. Your heart is more important than your gift. And um, look, what you give is what you get back. Wow. It's not just about money. My Lord. It's your attitude. Mm. Whatever you give, it is how you're going to get that in return. Wow. So let's, you know, be mindful of checking your heart <laughs> before you give gifts or before you, yes. or before you give yes. you seed. Because yes. it is a seed sown. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, I, I'm just listening because I'm excited. And, you know, and I, I know most of the viewers, a lot of the viewers know Um, And I do sell cars. I'm a car salesman. But when I tell people when it comes to selling cars, it's not about S-O-L-D. It's about S-O-U-L. Soul. And I I get excited. I mean, not just, uh, you know, God does it because when God does it, and we, wh- whether he does it or not, I'm still going to give him praise. Amen. So that's why I get excited about giving to God, because when you give to God, you can't go without. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. He begins to give you an overflow of an abundance of his. Oh, my God. Blessing, blessing, blessing. It overflows you that way. You know, you just got to tap in. My God, just tap in. That's all. It's simple. Tap in. Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) Oh, my God. Go ahead. Anything you want to say before we bless the offering? (laughs) There's so much that Mm. that you can say, but I'm I'm trying to remain a little bit calmer here. My Lord. Because, you know, and, you know, it's it's so amazing when we can get excited when we're giving. Mm Because it's easy to get excited when you're receiving. Wow. And I'm excited for you, for your giving. Amen. I'm excited not for what God is doing in our life, but what God has already and getting ready and already done in your life is to come. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm excited for your future. Mm -hmm. Mm. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If we can lift our offerings up to the Lord right now. My Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor Mm. you. We lift up your mighty name. We thank you for every gift, every seed that has been sown into this ministry, Mm. God. We thank you for the hearts of your people, Mm. God. We thank you for the heart that is excited to give, God. Yes. We thank you for the cheerful hearts, God. Thank you, Lord. But, Lord, we also thank you Mm. for the heart that is kind of doubtful, God. Wow. Lord, Mm. the heart that is doubtful, the one that is—we thank you for the heart that is— 
mm. that wants to give, but they're scared to give God. Oh, my God. They're mm. nervous. They're doubtful mm. about giving God. Mm. So, Lord, we bless you right now, and we say thank you for speaking to that heart, God. Mm. Thank you for settling that heart, God. My thank Lord. you for speaking to that heart and letting them know, God, mm. that is a it's not about the money, God, mm. but now is about the time of trusting you, God. Yes. It is about putting their trust in you and not mm. in man, God. Mm. Putting their trust in you and not in their finances, My God. Lord, glory. Hallelujah, mm. God. Hallelujah, God. Let mm. them know, God, that you can multiply, God. Yes. You can multiply that seed, God. Because, Lord, we understand mm. from according to your word, God, that this is part of our worship unto yes. you, Lord. Yes, God. Because, Lord, worship is what we do. It is who we are, mm. God. So, Lord, when we get ready to give, God, when we have a desire to give, God, mm. this is our worship unto you, ah, Lord. Glory. And, Lord, when we are worshiping you, God, mm. this is our covering of protection. God. Yes. This is our protection not only over our lives, God, but our family's lives, our mm. household, God. Mm. Not for only now, God, but for generations to wow. come, God. Wow. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, God, because you are a God that can take nothing oh, my and God. multiply that, God, mm. into in, in, a, in an abundance, God, mm, mm, for mm, years mm, mm. to come, God. Jesus. So, Lord, thank you for working with us, God. Yes. Thank you, God, for not giving up on us when we are doubtful, God. Mm. When we are afraid, My God, Lord, thank you, Lord. you do not give up on us, God. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know. I tell you, I'll run to give after that prayer. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Not only after that prayer, but we have purpose in our heart to give to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm telling you, wow. And you know what? It's, it's you know it's it's so easy to to pray for for the one that is, that is given. Mm -hmm. But see, the one that is given, the one is, that is already at a place of trusting God right about now. You're okay. Mm. You're taken care of. You understand this. But we need to, right now the the moment this time was to pray for those that are that are kind of like on the fence. Mm. Do I give? Do I not give? Wow. Well, I need to use this money for something else. Mm. But watch God do ah, something glory. amazing in your life. Mm. Watch God take care of that need that you were so concerned about. Mm. Take care of that need and more. My Lord. Way more than mm. what you were concerned about. Mm. So we just, we're just we thanking God for that person. right? Wow. For these people right now Amen. that are doubtful. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. Your need. Mm. God is going to take care of your need. Amen. Mm. He, he, he feeds us. Oh my God. Glory. Hallelujah. He's, he's, he's done it before and he's going to do it again. I'm not just saying this. I'm a firm believer and I know you are a firm believer as you share what you've been hearing, what you've been receiving, what you've been seeing, how God manifests in your life. Because you and I, you might be the only Bible people see and read. It's how you live your life for Jesus Christ. Amen? That's what it boils down to. Amen? Because people might not even open up the Bible, might not look at the Bible, but when they see you, can they see love? Can they see long suffering? Can they see peace? Can they see joy? And that's what kingdom building is all about. Amen. Into the marketplace, making a impact. Amen. Mm. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Mm. This is good. <laughs> my Lord. Woo. This is really good. So Jesus. So, so right now we're getting ready to hear what thus says the Lord. My Lord. Um, you know, for, for the people of God mm. right about now. So, I'm going to step aside and um, pastor's going to um, preach the word that God has laid upon his heart um, for us. So um, I will, after he preaches, then I'll come back Amen. for our segment of after church, which will, which will take place maybe about 10, <coughs> 15 minutes, usually about 15 minutes after he preaches. Then yes. um, we'll come back for our segment of after church. Okay. Where Amen. we dig a little bit deeper in the word and ask some questions. Okay. Wow. So, ready, Pastor? Amen. Kingdom building. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his grace, and we thank God for his mercy. Amen. I'm telling you, um, 
This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. Oh my God. I'm telling you, it is a blessed time to um, serve the Lord and to do what the Lord has called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. A little warm, but to God be the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm, we're thankful and grateful for you all on today. And, um, you know, like I said, um, we're still, how can I say, uh, believe in God, not just believe in God, but by faith, we believe in God for greater, for better, because we serve a great God. Amen. We believe in God for healing throughout all 50 states of this pandemic and COVID-19, those that has been affected by this virus and other sickness, whether it's diabetes, whether it's cancer. We believe in God for Isaiah 53 and 5, for our brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord, we believe in God for healing. We believe in God for deliverance. We believe in God even for the young kids, amen, for salvation to receive Jesus Hallelujah. We believe in God for that because God's word is true. Amen. And that's what it's all about because here it is. When it all said and done, we got to believe God's word. Amen. Because it's the word of God that's going to keep us. It's the word of God. In times like these, we need the word. Amen. We need the word. Amen. We need the word. We need the word. We need the, the word work back then. The word still work now. Amen. So as we go into the word of God, we're going to go into the word of God. We're going to go into the word of God because what's in you comes out of you. And that's why we got to study this word, stay in this word. So this word can manifest in the marketplace. Amen. Manifest in the marketplace. Meaning that watch this, wherever you go at, you are word carriers. Oh my God. Burden barriers. Glory. Hallelujah. The word works every time. Amen. You got to work the word. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm, my God. And that's going to take us to this word as we go into the word of God on today. Turn with me in the book of Titus. The book of Titus. The book of Titus. Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3 beginning with verse number one through seven. Oh, we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God. I'm telling you, God is good all the time and all the time he is good. Amen. So glory be to God. Oh my God, the word works. Yes, yes, I'm telling you. Oh my God. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. The book of Titus, the book of Titus, chapter three, verses one through seven and blessing to all of you all and we thank God for his grace and his mercy uh, we thank God most of all for the Holy Spirit we thank God in times like these we're going to continue to trust God amen uh, worship and read his word and <clears throat> pray and fast uh, believe in God that greater is here greater is not just coming but um, things is going to be in manifest in your favor amen it's not only just manifest, but things that's already been um, tagged and titled with your name on it. Mm, I hear land. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Mm, not just building, but land, business, titled with your name on it. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Um, I received that, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. So we bless God for you all and we thank God for the word of God. Titus chapter 3 verses 1 through 7. The book of Titus. This is uh, Apostle Paul, one of his son in the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Titus chapter 3. It said, put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey manuscripts, to be ready to every good work. Not some, but every good work. Amen? Every good work. Amen? Not some, it said, to every good work. Amen? And it said, to speak evil of no man. To speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, 
but gentle, showing all meekness unto all man. Amen. All meekness unto all man. God resists the proud. He exalt those who humble himself. Amen. Verse 3, for we ourselves also were sometime foolish. We've all been there. Let's pray that some of us are still not there. Amen. It said, for we ourselves also were sometimes, not all the time, sometime foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers, lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, oh my God, and hating one another. People hate you for no reason. They hate you because you are serving God. They hate you because you read the word. They hate you because, watch this, and they got to be careful. They're not hating you because if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen? Verse 4 through 7. But after that, and say, look, I love what verse 4 said. But even after the envy, the hateful, and hating one another, and then verse 4 said, but after that, the kindness and love of God, watch this, God said, you still show them love. You still be kind to them. Amen. You still show them that, that, that unconditional, that which is called the agape love. Amen. But after the kindness of love, kindness and love of God, our Savior toward men appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saves us. God does it. Amen through the work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. No one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. Amen? God, the Holy Spirit is always in operation 24-7 to draw people to Christ. Amen? It said, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Wow renewing of the Holy Spirit, my God, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Verse 7, and we'll rest right there. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Verse 7 that being justified by what? His grace. We should be made. Who's stopping you from being heir? No one else but you. According to the hope of eternal life. Today, coming from Titus chapter 3, verse 1 through 7, focus on verse 7. We're talking about, and we want to talk to you for a few minutes um, the title is Justified by God's Grace. Justified by God's Grace. Amen. As we look, as we thank God for his grace, how many of you um, thank God for his grace and his mercy each and every day? Amen. And we bless God for the word of God, but I thank God for grace. Oh, my God. I thank God for grace. Grace is so, watch this, grace is so amazing that is amazing grace. Oh, my God, amazing grace. Amen. And this is where we must, my sisters and brothers in the Lord, you and I, we must continue. We must not might, but we must continue to watch this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We must continue to press in his presence. Oh, my God. Press in his presence. It's just like when something is wrinkled, something 
don't look good, not look good, but when something is uh, wrinkled, like our clothes or whatever, we have to what? Iron it and press that wrinkle out. So if, if some things going on with us, we got to still watch this. Press in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Oh, my God. Glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Even when, as we go back and think about the woman who had the issue of blood, come on now, she had the issue of blood, but come on, the woman with the issue of blood, but still yet, she didn't allow that to stop her from pressing and pressing in the presence of Jesus. She said, if I could just touch, oh my God, just give me enough grace just to touch to move forward, to touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Amen? So this is where regardless of situation, regardless of things that we go through, illness, sickness, or whatever, we still have to press in his presence. It's called being justified by God's grace. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Being justified. By God's grace. So as we continue, thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Let me slow down just for a moment. Thank God for his grace. Amen. So as we continue to press in his presence, for his grace is forevermore working for you and I. Always. Amen. It's always. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. This is where we... You know, even though things come up, yes, Lord, thank you, Holy Spirit, I hear you. Even though things come up, even though things happen, even though, come on now, good things happen to bad people, bad things happen to good people, and guess what? Things happen to everyone. No one is exempt. The Bible said it rains on the just and the unjust. Amen? Hallelujah. But this is where you continue to press in his presence. Amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. Just keep pressing. Don't give up. Don't give in. Hallelujah. God got you. The Holy Spirit. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Ah, oh my God. And we thank God for Jesus. Amen. So to God be the glory. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy, justified by God's grace. Hallelujah. People ask you sometimes, you ever wonder, how you do this? How do you organize this? Where do you get the strength to do this? How, 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 how is it that you, you can do it? But it's, it's, it's by the grace of God. It's God's grace. Come on now. He give the Bible said he give grace to the humble and he resists the proud. Proud, arrogant. Think it's all about you and ain't nothing about you. You ain't got it going on. God give grace to the humble and he resists the proud. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you think about it, thank you Holy Spirit. When you think about it, we're talking about justified by God's grace. When David killed Goliath, it was the grace that was on his life. What do you mean, Pastor? Hey, come on now, First Lady. Everybody else tried to take Goliath out, and they couldn't do it. Amen? That, oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard the Holy Spirit said, sometimes we can be doing an assignment that's not assigned to us. Mm. Sometimes we can be doing an assignment that is not assigned to you and I. So that's why when it comes time to do it, we begins to frustrate the grace. But little old David, it wasn't nothing to David in him. It wasn't nothing to him. Everybody else tried to take Goliath out. But oh my God, God grace him for that assignment, God graced each and every one of us for a specific assignment on this earth. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, my God. He graced us. Amen? 
Hallelujah. What is grace? Is God's, e come on now, is God equipment which equipping you and I to do what he has called us to do is favor, God's favor, but is God's equipment for ministry. Ministry don't start the minute I get in the front of this computer and go live. Ministry is 24-7. It starts, come on, way beyond this, amen? Ministry is, oh my God, it's not so much what you do, but it's who you are. We serve a, we serve a great God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God that, come on now, sit high and look low. He sees everything, amen? We're talking about justified by God's grace, amen? Justified, amen? Well, so, as I said, when David killed Goliath, that was his assignment, the grace that was on his life. Nobody else couldn't take him out. It was David's assignment from God, amen? Moses was grace to bring the children of Israel, watch this, he brought them out. God graced him to write the Ten Commandments. God grace him to write the five books of the Bible. God grace him to allow him to go in to bring the children out. But glory, Joshua took them in. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Moses went in to bring them out, but Joshua took them to the promised land. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. We're talking about justified, justified, justified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, my God. Aren't you glad? Glory, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Don't you, aren't you glad? Oh, Jesus, we love you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We thank God for Jesus, amen. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, my God. That's enough to just give him praise, hallelujah, right there. Because he spared you. You are alive. Glory. Hallelujah. Just to see another day. That's a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to see another day. That's a blessing. We thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me just pause just for a minute. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I thank you. So when I think about my mother who's and father who's going on to be with the Lord, God grace mom that she had 13 kids, 13. She was grace with 13 kids, amen? She was grace with 13. And oh my God, some of us, oh my God, we, <laughs> what about the grace that, oh my God, we, some of us, sometimes we can't even deal with one or two. <laughs> Oh my God, first lady said, that's, that's, her, that's our grace, amen, hallelujah, and I thank God, glory, hallelujah, oh my God, she was grace, I mean, she, she did it, and I thank God for her, I thank God for what she's poured in, I thank God for how she um, um, just managed things, done things, and, and with uniqueness, with gladness, with just, she was happy to see kids when they come around, amen, that was, she was grace to do it, amen, Hallelujah. Sometimes some people see a bunch of kids, they run from them. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. But ask God to give you the grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Justified. <laughs> We're talking about, oh, my God. God is good, y'all. Hallelujah. We're talking about justified by God's grace. Amen. Stick to your assignment. Amen. God grace you for that assignment. Everyone have that grace to do a specific call, assignment that God has, watch this, not only position, but God has um, assigned to your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 So this is where grace, oh my God, thank, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One verse I want to go to, but let me just say this. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hmm. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Don't you just thank God um, for his grace when the Holy Spirit just speaks to you in that audible voice. And this is what he wanted me to share with you. Amen. So even as you think about this. Grace. Being just justified by God's grace. When you think about 
grace has a period. Oh my God, grace period, a grace period. Yes, Lord, I hear you. A grace period, grace period. When you think about it, most time we have a grace period. Yes, Lord, I hear you. We have a grace period on a loan. If we don't, the due date they give you a is called a grace period. You can go a little further than whatever that date is due. Amen. Are you with me? Or you have a grace period on your car loan or your mortgage or you have a grace period on your rent. Amen. Hallelujah. A grace period mean that you can go beyond that date. Amen. Sometimes they give you a five day grace period. Sometimes they give you a 10 day grace period. Amen. And sometimes some of us say, oh, Lord, I need more than five. I need more than 10. Oh, my God. Just go to God and say, God. Glory, hallelujah. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. God don't put, yes, Lord, I hear you. Think about this. God do not put a grace period on his grace that is on your life. Mm, my God, man, man stamps the grace period on these different things, but God does not put a grace period on. Oh my God, he, oh my God, he forgives you over and over and over. He blesses you over and over and abundantly. He forgives you over and over. So if he give, forgives you, he blesses you, then why can't you forgive and bless others? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for your word. You see, God, grace, spirit never runs out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man might say, oh, you passed the grace period. I can't go no, no further, but glory. Hallelujah. But thanks be unto God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God who have given us the victory and the defeat over our enemy. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. You don't have to, you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now, this is, it depends on where your faith at in God. It depends, let me just clarify this. It depends on your faith, where your faith at is in God. Amen? Hallelujah. This is where even though if the, uh, the, the loan, the car, the mortgage, the rent, they said, oh, we can't go a little further. But that's okay. Don't worry. Glory. Hallelujah. Worry is a sin anyway. Take it to God. Amen. Take it to God. Amen. Tell, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't, mm, don't tell your problem. Glory. Hallelujah. How big is your God? Tell your problem you serve a big God. And watch God work it out. Watch God turn it around. Watch God. Do, oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm, my Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We're, we're talking about justified, being justified by God's grace. Before I read this, let me say, oh, my God, thank God for his grace. Mm. Verse 7 said, then being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Oh, my God. There's some heirs property. There's some heirs, oh my God, some things with your, not only your name on it, your kids, kids, generation to come. Oh my God, glory, hallelujah. God is, oh my God, hallelujah. Give God some praise. Oh my God, give God some praise. Hand claps of praise, hallelujah. I'm going to praise him, hallelujah, on that, amen. I'm going to praise him, hallelujah. Oh my God, hallelujah. Mm. My God, hallelujah. I'm telling you. Sometimes we need more time, but glory, hallelujah. But God, grace, oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his mercy. Turn with us to Psalm 37. I'm going to start at verse 18 through 26. Look at Psalm 37. I got to go there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Psalm 37. 18 through 26. Mm. Hallelujah. I need this spiritual food not only on Sunday, but I need it on Monday. I need it on Tuesday. I need it on Wednesday. I need it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, back to Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. I need it every day. Amen. I need this spiritual food 
from the Lord every day. Amen. It glory. Hallelujah. It helps. It, it, it keeps you going. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm, my God. Psalm 37 verses 18 through 26. Oh, my God. Mm, my Lord. Psalm 37, look at verse 18. Mm. 37, 18 through 26. Amen. Are we there? It said, The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. What I just said. Not only you, he's going to heirs of, but your kids, kids. Amen. Hallelujah. He's gracing you to hold on. He's graced you to give in, but don't give up. Amen. The Lord knows the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Verse 20, but the wicked shall, what? Perish. The wicked shall, I didn't say that, it's, the word, it's in the word of God. Psalm 37 and 20, it said, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lamb they shall consume in smoke they sh shall uh, consume in smoke shall they consume away verse 21 the wicked borrows and pays not again but the righteous sows mercy and giveth for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth and they that are be cursed of him shall be cut off verse 23 to 26 I love this. See, this is where he says the steps, the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord and he delight in his way. Amen. The steps, steps are ordered, steps are ordered, but the stages of grace in life that allow you and I to do things at a different pace and place. It's called favor. I'm going to say that again. Steps are ordered. We see what Psalm 37 said. The steps of a good man are ordered. Steps are ordered. But the stages of grace, come on now, in life that allow you and I to do things at a different pace and place in life. Amen? Verse 24. He said, though he fall." he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. God got you. Amen. I have been young. This is, this is what David said. David said, come on now. This is, it's in the book. It's in the word. Oh my God. It's all for his glory. Oh my God. David said, I have been young and now I am old. Yet, through the days of coming up, he said, through the days and things that he experienced in life, the, the things that he went through, he said, yet, not last week, not this week, but he said, not years ago, but he said, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. And verse 26, he is ever merciful and lineage and his seed is what bless oh my god what the heirs his seed is bless not stress oh my god mm. it said his seed is bless and not stress amen hallelujah you got blessed seed oh my god blessed seed glory hallelujah coming up glory hallelujah because Hallelujah. Oh, my God. You trust God. God said, oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because you trust him. God said, you've been blessing and you've been a blessing to others 
your blessed seed mm, that you've been praying, that you've been fasting, that you've been pouring into others, your blessed seed is coming up. Mm, my God, hallelujah. Oh, my God, hallelujah. God is good. Oh, my God, hallelujah. We thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. This is where justified, justified, it said also justified by God's grace. Mean that Romans said the just shall live by faith. Amen. We should live by faith. But watch this. It is God's grace that allow us. Mm, to live by faith. It is God's grace that, come on now, that allow us to do some things that we're not capable of doing, not in our strength, but in his, the Holy Spirit. Amen? It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. People, I mean, the thing about it, they wonder how you do this uh, and how, how are you doing this? How, how are you functioning? How are you, I mean, it's, you know, we just got to say, oh, God, Thank God. God, give me grace. God, thank you for your mercy. And thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I don't know how I'm doing it, but it's the Holy Spirit. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen? It's because and it's by God's grace. Amen? Grace and mercy. Amazing grace. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace abundantly comes through Jesus Christ. It abundantly comes through Jesus Christ, not by just knowing him, not by just knowing him, watch this, mm, but by serving him in all areas of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Last but not least, hallelujah. Let me just get to this. Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. God has graced some of us, all of us, to do so many different things. Even in the midst of this pandemic, he has still given us that grace, that favor. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And murdered favor, grace and murder. Come on now to do what he's called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Last but not least, Colossians 3 and 17. The book of Colossians 3 and 17. Colossians 3 and 17. I want to just close with this verse right here. The book of Colossians 3 and 17. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. Mm. All the time and all the time he is good. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Colossians 3 and 17. Amen. It says like this. It said, and whatsoever you do in word and whatsoever you do in word or deed. Hallelujah. 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 Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Given, watch this, given thanks to God and the Father by him. I'm going to read it again. It said, and whatsoever, whatever those things, however those things, whatever you do in word or in deed, do it all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Amen. When, this is where we, we have to, when we're doing things, watch this. Glory. Hallelujah. I don't, thank you, Holy Spirit. You don't need man or no one else to certify what God has called you to do. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, because it's being justified by God's grace to do what he's called you to do. Amen. Because when it all said and done, God has given, mm, 
grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. The Bible says, he who humble himself will be exalted. Those who exalt themselves, the Bible said, will be abased. Meaning, here it is. Hallelujah. God puts them up. God does the elevation. God give the increase. Come on now. It's, it's God, but it's, 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 we're being justified by God's grace. Glory. Hallelujah. It's, grace is it's, it's nothing but God's favor. Amen. And this is where we have to continue to trust the word of God, regardless of how things look. You know what God said to you. You know what God told you to do. Do what God has called you to do. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. And thank God for his mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God. Oh, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. And thank God for his mercy. And we, in times like these, we need his grace. Amen. We need his, we, we need his grace. Oh my God. Thank God that mercy is right there. Amen. Hallelujah. So we bless God for you all. And we thank God for the word of God at this time. Um, uh, before I close, let me just say this. We want to give each and every one. And uh, even as this being shared, the opportunity if you don't know Jesus, because it's not about just the teaching, the preaching, but if you don't know Jesus, if you don't have a relationship with him, you can surrender. You can surrender. Oh, my God. Mm. Ain't nothing like being arrested by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. This letter, let the Holy Spirit, <coughs> excuse me, not only take control, but take over. Take over. So there could be one that don't know Jesus, that don't have a relationship or have not received salvation. This is the day as he was walking Zacchaeus, to, uh, he was up in the tree. He told Zacchaeus, make haste, mean come down. <clears throat> Today is your day. Salvation is coming to your house. Salvation is here to hit your house. Amen. So if you don't know Jesus, you can do as what it says in Romans 10 and 9. If thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Amen. It's just that simple. You can surrender it all because the Bible says no one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. So I, I just want to take that opportunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you for that little boy, that little girl. Life has been changed. Mind has been renewed. Backsliders are coming back to you. And those that don't know you will receive salvation, being saved. Jesus, we thank you, dear God, as the Father rejoice. If it's just one coming to the Lord, Father, we thank you, dear God, that they are coming back to you. Father, we bless you and we honor you. Humble, dear God, not proud, but humble. Father, we thank you right now for lives being saved and those that have given their life to you, surrender all to you, receive salvation. Father, we declare and we decree, dear God. Mm that they are coming back as of this day and days to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God, and we thank God for you all. Oh, my God, justified mm, by God's grace. So at this time, we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy. We'll come back about 1130, 1135 with After Church. Um, First Lady and I will go forth with after church. And once again, blessing to all of you all. Thank God for um, you all joining us on today. You could have been doing something else. We do not take that lightly. But uh, we thank God that you tune in. And um, we thank God that you, you didn't tune us out or you didn't tune the word of God out. But you turn it on and here it is. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for you all and we thank God for your family. So blessing to each and every one of you all, and we'll come back 
with after church about 11.30, 11.35 and um, have a blessed week, a blessed day in the Lord, knowing this, that we love you, we are praying for you each and every day and continue to grow in favor and grace and we thank God for each and every one of y'all. So we bless God for y'all and we bless God for the word of God. Blessing, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide hence more forever until we meet again. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Continue to trust him. Amen. To God be the glory. Love you.